Hello guys, this is Linus, Limo Yankee 2 Hotel. Welcome to yet another review of the SDR Minion QRP transceiver made by the QRP the Electronics Company in Ukraine. This is not my first review of this little transceiver, so there are more on my channel and the links are in the description how to find them on my channel. So today uh, I'm asking a question on how does this little transceiver work on digital modes, especially on the FT8, which we all love, or we do, right, and use. The short answer would be yes, it does, it works. You can hear the music of FT8, uh, you can see the signals on my little transceiver, on, on, on my little computer, the Chewy laptop. So, uh, yes, it does, and I've done a couple of QSOs, and it's okay. But uh, the setup, it's not that easy peasy plug and play as it is with other rigs like my uh, ICOM 7300 or my Elecraft K3 or my Elecraft KX2, which you really, if you do everything as, as it is said in the, in the manual, uh, then it is just plug and play. In this case, it is not. To start using the SDR Minion transceiver in digital modes, of course, you need three things basically a computer, in my case, this is Chewy laptop, uh, you need a sound card, and you need a USB cable. Sound card and USB cable connect to the transceiver. For the sound card, I decided to use possibly the cheapest available option, the USB sound card. In my case, it's a, it says MediaTek. I bought it in my local electronic shop. So uh, on um, the card has got, as widely known, two, uh, two ports. So one is uh, with the sign of microphone. It's the in line into your computer from your transceiver and this one is output from your computer to your transceiver so uh, the input into your computer from your transceiver on the transceiver i'll show it on this bigger screen uh, you connect it to the line out to the line out of minion sdr and the output from your sound card you connect to the line in on your transceiver after you've connected the line in into the transceiver please don't forget to go to the transceivers menu user menu number 13 go to the tx input and choose line it's very important not to forget to change the TX input from microphone into line. And then after, after doing this, uh, the last thing to connect uh, is a USB cable. USB cable connects on the back side of the Minion SDR. Just one thing to know, this is mini USB on the transceiver side. Not micro, not C, it's mini. It's a little bit outdated to my mind, but still I managed to buy one again in my local electronic shop or computer shop. Or maybe you may have it a couple, a couple of them in your junk box. So that's it. After, after connecting uh, the USB cable to your computer, you're ready to go for the setup of the digital modes. So theoretically, that's it if you do everything as it uh, should it should work if not you actually go the errors and trial method as i did because uh, even uh, with a pretty extensive uh, user manual on how to install uh, digital modes on sdr minion transceiver uh, not everything goes so good so putting it shortly uh, the best way to use with SDR Minion is a Windows 10 machine. Because for the Windows 10 machine, you don't need 
uh, no any additional drivers to download it just plug and play in this case this is set in the user manual and that's uh, that's a good news if you use other types of windows then you have to download and uh, and install some uh, drivers but th this is my windows 10 all my portable computers are windows 10 uh, so I, I i was not bothering myself with other things i did try to use uh, on raspberry pi 4 but unfortunately it uh, it uh, doesn't work as it should be probably uh, probably due to the same reason of lacking of uh, drivers but i haven't come across uh, anywhere on the internet uh, on uh, how, how to install and where to download from uh, the drivers uh, for raspberry pi or for for the for the linux or raspbian operating operating systems if you got an information and you want to share it with us please leave it in your in in the comment sections so if you want to save your time and your nerves in setting up the digital modes on SDR Minion, uh, go straight forward to FL Rig application as a rig control application. So, and then use FL Rig as a transceiver, choose FL Rig as a transceiver in other applications which you are going to use for digital modes. If you try as i did in the beginning to configure for instance uh, wsjtx for the ft8 mode um, application which runs the ft8 mode uh, to configure it inside the application uh, like you know choosing the transceiver or setting up all the other things and then and then uh, and then you go usually with other transceivers so this is not the case if you try to do this in directly in the WSJTX, it will not work. Let's uh, let's go for FL Rig uh, from the very beginning, and then uh, and then it will uh, work uh, with uh, WSJTX. It will work with FL Digi uh, for other digital modes except of FT8. And um, I failed. I tried. I did try, but I failed failed uh, to get a fell rig uh, to run in combination with JS8 call uh, with SDR minion. So unfortunately JS8 call at least for the time being uh, is is not usable uh, for the SDR minion in my case. Maybe in your case is different. I'd be very very thankful if you share your experience in the comment section. This is the FLRIG's user interface. It says already here FLRIG TS940S because I have already done uh, the setup work. But uh, for the first time, you open up the application and you go to config, configuration, you go to setup and you go to transceiver. And when you go to transceiver section, you are in this window where you uh, can choose pushing here you choose the transceiver so i've chosen uh, ts940s because it's the best one which works in my case uh, you have to choose the your com, uh, com port your serial port in my case it's 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 com uh, com 7 uh, sometimes uh, you need uh, to uh, to activate uh, the com uh, the serial port uh, by the means of plugging and unplugging the USB cable, and then uh, a reselecting uh, a reselecting uh, the 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 com seven again, and uh, then after activating pushing the 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 button serial port. Uh, normally uh, you have the init red uh, and when you push it uh, then uh, the uh, transceiver connects to the FL rig. In this configuration important thing is um, uh, to, to make 
the PTT via CAT marked. That's the most important thing. The other configurations are already uh, chosen for you by the uh, by the FL rig. So when you when you think you finished with the setup of FL rig, it's very good just to check how it works. Like you rotate the VFO knob, and you see on FL rig the frequency follows. It changes. So it means the cat is working. And yet another important thing is to check how is PTT working. So on the uh, on the right corner of the FL rig application, there's a PTT button. You push it, and you see the radio comes into transmit. It does not transmit anything, but it just uh, switches into transmit mode. It means. Uh, the, the CAT and, and PTT uh, fully functioning and fully working. It seems to me that the computer and transceiver communication protocol, the CAT, is the most difficult part in the SDR Minion transceiver. It's got a very touchy CAT. The guys in the user manual, they say they are using the Kenwood TS440 protocol, but uh, in the other place, they say it also works Kenwood TS450S for the applications which do not support or, or, or do not list TS440 anymore. But in my case, it was uh, working, but not working very good. And I remembered myself uh, reading somewhere in, in, on the internet that the uh, Kenwood TS940S or Kenwood TS950S also, uh, these Kenwood brands, the, using kind of a more universal computer and transceiver communication protocol, and they somehow, in a way, kind of covering uh, the other lower canvas, so to say. So I've tried uh, both uh, and uh, now I'm running and I think in my case the best is Canwood TS940S uh, protocol. Uh, so it means uh, you have to choose Canwood TS940S in the, uh, in the FL rigs transceiver section. So, in my case, it worked. So, with this done, the FL rig setup is finished. You don't need to close anything and, and don't touch it anymore. Then you open up the application for your digital modes. Let's say WSJTX for FT8. And you see, it's also working and uh, it shows the last frequency just w w which it reads out from the transceiver so for 40 meters uh, the green button is on it means the the um, the WS uh, JTX um, app cat also working and then you can go just to the frequency and, and so it's the FT8 frequency and it and it runs. Of course, before you have it running nicely and smoothly and bringing you nice FT8 contacts, you have to go to file. You go to file, go to settings, open up the settings, go to radio. That's the most important. Think, go to radio and it's extremely important in the rig section in the rig line uh, you choose by the means pushing uh, opening up the, the the list you choose from the list FL rig FL rig you do not want to choose any other real rig like TS440 or TS940 whatever you choose FL rig, FL rig, because for the WSGTX program, the rig now is not the transceiver SDR Minion, but the FL rig, the application which runs SDR Minion. 
nothing much to do here everything is 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 as is it's important uh, to have on the right uh, the right corner the pt the ptt method to uh, to mark cat that's very important because neither dtr nor rts is not working in this in this uh, with this transceiver in my case it works uh, as as it should be with the, the data mode chosen um uh, marked data slash packet p p k t p k t and here fake it the split operation fake it uh while setting up the uh, uh the the f t eight the test cat is very good uh, utility it's green it means the the cat is working and test p t t yeah you heard the, the 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 transceiver clicked and the PTT went red. It means the transceiver is in the transmit mode now, and now it's not. It means the the cat is fully functioning. With this, the uh, FT8 is ready to run. During a couple of days in the evenings, I've made a couple of interesting QSOs. And it's it works pretty nice, pretty nice. Turkish station. The transceiver releases around almost 10 watts of output on 40 meter band. Pretty good. All right, so the QSO is over and confirmed completed so sometimes rig control error pops out asking do you want to reconfigure the radio interface luckily in this configuration it happens pretty rarely and if you just press retry it's okay nothing uh, nothing changes and you can keep on working you see so the uh, the cat green dot is green it means the connection is fine sugar whiskey nine false brow tango island of crete nice all right it's completed so guys this was a story of a little sdr minion transceiver in the big digital world Leave your comments, write your own stories, or better subscribe to this channel for more stories from my ham radio van and my shack. That's it for today. See you later. 73. This is Limas, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.